Today's motivational minute is low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit. Many of you guys may have heard the phrase low hanging fruit before. How you doing, Mad Lupo? Uh, but when it comes to low hanging fruit, what it means is it's when you're in a, a vineyard or you're in an orchard or you're in an apple field or an orange field and everything like that, you can reach up and grab low hanging fruit and eat it and enjoy it and enjoy that fruit where you don't have to grab a ladder and climb to the top of the tree to get the fruit that you're looking for. When it comes to our success, when it comes to our lives, when it comes to our, our focus and the aspirations of our heart. Yesterday, we talked about your success being fulfilling and being exciting and being something that you can do to serve others. Narek, how you doing? With your low-hanging fruit, as we head into 2016, look at your life and see what things you can reach up to closely and maximize on when it comes to your success. For some people, it's gonna be starting a new business. For others, it's gonna be going to your teachers for office hours and getting that extra credit, getting that bonus work, so that way the teacher sees that you're committed to the class and to the work that's going on. For some, it's gonna be going to your boss and proving why you should get a raise. For others, it's gonna be giving to your employees or to your team in a way that's different than how you've done it before. What is your low hanging fruit? In 2016, I want us to be ready for the opportunity for success. I want us to be ready so that when success is looking us in the eyeballs, we have done the necessary steps to walk in that success. If we don't do these little things, if we don't examine the low hanging fruit in our lives, if we don't serve, if we're not excited about our passions and our visions and our dreams, when the opportunity for success is in front of us, it may we may not be ready to walk in that success, to maximize on that success, to reach the goals that we have in our mind and then set new goals and to set new goals. Because in order to set those new goals, in order to accomplish the goals, we have to be ready. So as we're in May, thank you for tuning in. So as we're transitioning here into 2016, we've got uh, today and tomorrow is the last two days as we transition into 2016. Look at your life, look at your skills. Are you a speaker? Are you a writer? Are you a magician? Are you a philanthropist? Are you, what are you? And are you maximizing on those? Are you maximizing on your God-given gifts, that things that come easy to you? Are you looking at how to, to make sure you're walking in success in those things that come easy to you? AOP10, thank you for tuning in. I'm also reading the book Instinct, and I think I mentioned the other day that I'm reading the book produced by Faith by Devon Franklin. But in the book Instinct by T.D. Jakes, he talks about that thing that you do without thinking about it, that thing that you do great without even having to put much effort into it. Those are part of your instincts. Raphael, how you doing? We hit our goal, man. We hit our goal, dude. It was awesome. So look at your life. Look at your skill sets. Think about the things that you can do without much, without much worry, without much work, without much effort. And see if you can turn those into your successes here in 2016. See if you can maximize those efforts, maximize those thoughts, maximize those skill sets, really fine tune those components to make them awesome and then make them great. You were worried, but we made it. We did make it. Hey, I was never worried. No sweat on my brow. <laughs> No, I'll be honest. I was gonna preparing my if you don't reach success message for for that day, but we killed it. You guys helped me kill it. Jay Casey, thank you for tuning in, and I really appreciate it. But today's motivational minute was just a quick one, just to say, look at your life, see what you do great, see what you do easily, and see if that can help take you to your success. Because if it can help take you to your success in 2016, I challenge you to step it out and refine it. Don't just be good, be great. And then don't just be great, be amazing at what it is that comes natural to you. So thank y'all for tuning in. We hit our goal of 300,000 hearts. This is just a quick one, just motivating you to look at the low hanging fruit in your life. If there is some, if there isn't some, just analyze. And then believe, what's up wifey? Mwah. Believe that you can be successful. Believe that you're worth it. Believe that it's yours. Look at that low hanging fruit. Be fulfilled in your success. Get excited about your success. I love you wifey. Mwah. Get excited about your success. 
see how it can serve others and collaborate. And as you do so, when it's time for your opportunity to walk in your success, you will be ready. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be here tomorrow. And remember, words bring life. Speak them into existence. Your greatness is waiting. Mike, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.